So it's coming up to that time of year already, the festive season, and shops are already starting to stock up Christmas decorations. It's a great place for our market to be in. Stick around and I'll show you how I made these decorations. So for the design we basically wanted to have many different ideas incorporated into the Christmas theme for the festive season that is coming up. And we decided to go with our traditional uh, looking light bulb decorations as well as we've done doggy decorations, you know, a fish, a dog bone, uh, a paw. We've included in every, of, uh, every one of them a name um, so that you can customize it, you know, to have someone's name as a gift or for your personal house. Um, and we've just decided to, you know, go wild and do various different designs and see how they come out. Moving on to the laser program. With the designs, we then had to choose which areas had to be engraved and which areas were being cut. And that you just simply choose, make sure that you have all of your uh, points marked properly, and then we can move on to engraving and then cutting it out. For this today, I'm going to be using the settings as I usually do. I'm going to be running at a 50% power with a 30% speed to do our cutting out on our wood. This uh, may vary depending on the wood you're using. And the engraving, I'm going to go quite deep. I'm going to be using a 60% power at 300 speed. Now that this batch is done, we're going to move it over to the decorating stage while we carry on with the next batch. Now that this is done, we're going to take this outside and uh, finish off a bit of the decorating on it, let it dry, and we'll see it later.
The software for the True Cut machine is free and downloadable from our utility disk website on cncu.co.za. You can download it and play around with it if you like. The software is Windows only and able to connect to the machine by USB cable or network cable or even by flash drive if you don't want to be connected. We provide installation and training for our machines and we also stock a large variety of spare parts. For more information, visit lasercut.co.za or call our sales on 060 600 6000. So, now that the decorations are back from being decorated, painted and adding a bit of a sparkle to it, we can see how it uh, came out, the final product. And I must say, it looks pretty cool, not going to lie. Over here, I just decided to add some uh, twine or wool, uh, different colors just to make it look a bit hippie. And uh, I've got the person's name here, we've painted it white, um, just as a different option. And then moving over to this side, we decided to make it a little bit more simple. We haven't done any painting whatsoever, haven't done any varnishing, and we've just added a bit of colorful wool. And this you can hang up in your bedroom or you know around the Christmas tree. It's really up to you, but I really think these came out really well. This group over here, uh, what I did was I did uh, laser cutting out. Then in certain areas I engraved uh, deeper just to make sure that I can get a nice place to paint. So you can see the depth here is a lot deeper over there within the letters. It's just so that it's easier to paint it out and also it creates a nice depth perception uh, when you're looking at it, it look quite nice in 3D. So I thought, you know, a lot of people like, um, you know, giving their dogs or cats or whatever pet they have for Christmas decoration and hang it up on their tree. You know, a, a dog having a bone, a cat having a fish, um, you know, adding it a bit differently, uh, more dog luggers. We have a dog paw here with the name in. It's going to be quite nice for families to have that on the Christmas tree. Over here, I basically just had a normal cutout of, you know, normal uh, bulb. I went and engraved the Christmas trees in here, the name, and uh, there's no other engraving here. And I just painted this um, area here on all of them, just, just, you know, just to add a bit of sparkly like a normal tree does, have some nice shiny things on it. This lot here has no engraving. I literally just cut everything out with the laser and went and painted certain areas, added a bit of a glitter, um, more of a simplistic design, um, just so that you can have each individual name up on the Christmas tree. For this one here, uh, I just left this one with nothing on, just to give you an example. When you are cutting with the laser and you're not using any protection paper on the wood, you'll get laser burn. So you'll see this side looks a bit dark, and it's got some burning on it. If I flip it over, it's completely a different color. In order to prevent this laser burn, you either have to use masking tape or application tape, which is also called tissue paper. Um, it just prevents the top layer of the wood from being burnt. If you don't feel like using it, then you go to the option of painting it or, or varnishing it. It's really up to you. Over here, I've literally just cut these out um, using the initial of the person's name, having the main letter here, and engraved the name there. Um, and for here, I'm not going to be putting anything on. I'm leaving it as it is with laser burn and so on. As you can see here, we didn't clean it. Just to show you again that, you know, if you don't have any protection, this happens when you engrave. And once you've cleaned it, you'll have a nice clean finish. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.